Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Ron, and today I'm gonna be painting my plant room white. Okay, so as you can see, the walls are currently this very warm tan color, and that's what it was in the whole house but I've recently painted the living spaces downstairs and the hallway upstairs a uh, light gray because I wanted to get rid of that warm tone because I don't know, I just feel like it's very dated. So in this room, as well as the bedrooms, I'm gonna be painting the walls white. I'm trying to achieve, especially in this plant room, a very contemporary, modern look and minimalistic look. So I'm gonna be painting all of the four walls in here white. The goal is to kind of exchange all of the non-white furniture in this room to white. So as you can see, this is why I got the IKEA Vitzjo, Vitz, Vitzio, Vitzjo shelves right behind me, which is made out of metal and glass and some particle board on the top and bottom shelves. And then these IKEA Dynan shelving right here, these two are white, but everything else is not white. Also, the other reason why I'm painting the walls white, guys, is because I finally snatched a Millsbow cabinet from Ikea. You will not believe how I found one in stock. I was laying in bed early morning. It was like five o'clock in the morning because I needed to get up to do something for work. And as I was laying in bed, I opened my phone and went to the internet. And I have this browser window that's open that takes me straight to the IKEA Millsbo webpage and several times a week okay and this happened for months and months I would refresh the page and it would always say out of stock but for some reason I don't know if it glitched or the webpage was just not loading correctly because I clicked on the black color because it comes in two colors white and black I clicked on the black one and it magically appeared in stock so I was like wait maybe I should just get the black one but I was like no I really want white because that's the look I'm trying to achieve, obviously. I went from the black back to the white and it showed that it was in stock. But I was laying in bed and really contemplating whether or not I should get one because the delivery was like an extra 50 or $60. Even though I have an Ikea like right down the street from me, which was still out of stock for a whole year, by the way. I laid in bed. I really thought about getting it right then and there, but I did not place the order, okay? And I should have. But the next morning, the inventory went back to zero, okay? And I was super bummed out. By the next day, I decided to check the inventory again. And it was back in stock. They had nine in stock, so as soon as I found out that they were back in stock, I just placed the order because actually, it was in stock in my local IKEA. So it made things even better because I did not have to pay the delivery fee. But for this video, I won't be installing the cabinet. I'm just gonna be painting my walls white. And I think in the next video, I'll be showing you guys how I set up my IKEA Millsbo greenhouse because I did place an order for some of the accessories. Make sure you're subscribed because you don't wanna miss out on that video. It's gonna be really fun. Anyway, let's get to painting. Let me just show you the walls currently. Okay, so this is the main wall. This is the main event where all of my plants are. And see how ugly that color is? Blech. Only one of the grow lights are on right there. That one will turn on at 7 p.m. And on this wall, I've got my humidifier. And I also brought in my air purifier to help kind of clean the air while I am painting. And I think my plants will be very appreciative of that. And then on this wall, I have my computer over here. You see how the chair is like very dark, but there's my ring light. And then finally, this wall, that's a door into my walk-in closet, which has a whole bunch of supplies and things. Um, that you don't want to see, so that's why the door is closed. I'm going to be starting with this wall 
And as you can see, I've already taken out the plates from the outlet jacks, jacks from the outlets. But I need to lay down some plastic so that I don't stain the carpet. And then hopefully this wall takes just one coat of paint, but we will see. Well, that's a very quick tour of the four walls in this room, but let's get started. All right, so here are the supplies that I'll be using today. For the paint, I'll be using this eggshell finish for interior walls, Valspar 2000 interior paint plus primer. And then I have a paint tray, a roller, and then a small brush to go around like little corners and crevices like that little guy right there. But before we get started, we're going to have to make sure this is mixed very well so we have really good coverage. Okay, so I got most of the trim and molding, um, so now I can start using the roller, but I just want to show you guys, this is just one coat, I don't know if you're able to tell, but I don't think one coat is going to do the trick because you can still see the tan coming through, which kind of sucks because I'm going to have to do this one more time, but Hopefully by the second coat, it'll be pure white. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna be loading some paint onto my roller here. And then we'll see what kind of coverage this gives. Probably not a lot. Okay, I mean, it definitely looks better than what the brush did. Um, I think it's because of the bristles actually, so I'll just do another coat. As it settles, you can kind of still see the tan coming through. I'm still gonna have to do two coats. Okay, so another issue is that this tone of white is very white, it's pure white. And when it's right against the trim here, you can see that there's a slight difference. This one is a bit off white. Um, so I'm gonna have to paint over that with a brighter white. I might have to get the same high white color as this one, but in glossy because this house has glossy paint on all of the trims and doors. Same thing for the bottom molding. Okay, 
Okay, well, I had to take a break because I was getting hungry. So I ate some dinner, but now I think this first coat has had some time to dry. And now I'm just gonna quickly do the second coat and then we'll see what the white actually looks like. But I think it's looking good. All right, so it's actually the next day and I've got this half of the room pretty much done. I just need to paint the doors and the trim in the new whiter paint because you can kind of sell how the door is still like this warm white versus the walls. But I'm really liking it so far. It's making the space feel so much brighter. And let me just show you, for example, ta-da! So I temporarily moved some of the plants towards this corner because I need to make space in order for me to paint the walls right here. And then I will move the entire shelf plant system from there over onto this side. But look at how much the white actually brings out the foliage in the plants. So cool. Finally done. Well, it took two whole days and that's because I had to paint like two or three coats on the walls. One coat, you could still kind of see the tan coming through. Two coats, sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. Definitely three coats like made this room pure white. Uh, don't pay attention to the ceiling because it's still not painted that same white color. Um, I'm gonna do that in the future, definitely when I change the ceiling fan because that is kind of dated as well. Let me give you the final reveal and then let me know what you guys think. I think I'm in love with my plants again because the white just totally brings out the color of the foliage of all of my plants and it looks so good. Well, you might not be able to tell, but things are kind of, sort of, kind of temporary um, in terms of where the plants are sitting. And that's because the Millsville cabinet is gonna be like right in this area right here. So it's gonna look really good. But there's just additional things that I have to put away. There's like paint, pails, and buckets um, that I need to just get out of this room. But let me show you this little plant corner where the shelf, the black shelf is currently. Um, I'm thinking about leaving it there or moving it, I don't know. I just have to wait and see until I put up the Millsbow cabinet. So yeah, the Millsbow cabinet is gonna go right here. And that'll just give me more space to like put some plants on top of the cabinet but also will free up more space on these shelves over here which means I can buy more plants all right so there you have it guys uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below I'm so excited for my future videos I can't wait to start filming more content in this room because look it's so much brighter I love it anyway it's my birthday in a couple of weeks so I think I'm gonna spoil myself with some new plants um, 
whether it's at nursery or purchasing plant online, I do have, well, I will forever have a wish list of plants that I want to get. But stay tuned for that. I might do a video on purchasing that wish list plant or plants. We'll see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't yet already, plant scribe. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.